we perform total WBC count. Principle, a sample of blood is diluted with diluting fluid, which destroys RBCs and stains the nuclei of WBCs. The cells are counted in improved Newbar's chamber and the number in undiluted fluid is calculated. Starting with materials. For WBC count, we require microscope, WBC pipette, here is the WBC pipette, improved Newbar's chamber and cover slip, WBC diluting fluid. Also known as dog's food and watch marks. Constituents of dog's food. Dog's food contains glacial acetic acid, gentian violet, and distilled water. Procedure With all antiseptic precautions, get a finger prick, discard first two drops of blood, and let a good size of drop to form. Here we are using collected sample of blood. Now, dip the tip of our WBC pipette in the edge of the drop and draw the blood to the mark 0.5. You can see here, we have drawn the blood up to 0.5 mark. Suck the dark fluid to the mark 11. Mix the content of the bulb thoroughly for 3 to 4 minutes. Next step is move the new bar sample to the microscope and focus the grid. This, this is the improved new bar chamber view under low power. You can see this four corner squares, they are WBC counting squares in the new bar chamber under low power. Without changing focus, now shift the new bar chamber and charge the new bar chamber. Place the cover slip. Discard first two drops of fluid from the WBC pipette and charge the chamber. The chamber should neither be overcharged nor undercharged. Allow the cell to settle for two to three minutes. Then carefully transfer the chamber to the microscope. Use fine adjustment again and try to identify WBCs. Counting the cells. Count the cells in 4 groups of 16 squares each. Total 64 squares. We are counting in low power. So this is the view of improved new bus chamber in low power. To avoid counting the same cells again, follow the rule of counting using L pattern counting. Count the WBCs present in the square and those on its left and lower line. You can see here inside the square and in the left and lower line and ignore the WBCs present on right and upper line. Calculation for total WBC count. Volume of one square. As we can see length of one square is one millimeter and breadth is 1 mm, depth that is 0.1 mm. So the volume of 1 square is 0.1 mm cube. Therefore, volume of 4 squares becomes 0.4 mm cube. In 0.4 mm cube volume, we counted the cell, number of cell is n. n cells in 0.4 mm cube. In 1 mm cube, Number would be n multiplied by 1 divided by 0.4. Dilution. Here we have taken blood up to 0.5 mark and diluted it up to 11 mark. As the fluid in the stem part, one part, does not take part in the dilution, our dilution is 0.5 raised to 11 minus 1 is equal to 0.5 raised to 10 or 1 raised to 20. You can see here dilution is 1 raised to 20. In 1 raised to 20 dilution, our count is n by 0.4. Therefore, undiluted blood, 1 raised to 1 dilution, the count is n 
upon 0.4 multiplied by 1 divided by 1 by 20. Therefore, the count is n multiplied by 20 divided by 0.4. Or you can say n multiplied by dilution factor divided by volume. And n multiplied by 50. Here you can see in Nubas chamber when we are focusing it under low power, we can see 9 squares. From this 9 square, corner 4 squares, they are employed for counting WBCs and they are known as WBC counting squares. These 4 squares are further divided into 16 small squares. So this is one of the 4 squares which is further divided into 16 squares. You can see here under low magnification, WBCs appear as round, shiny, you can say refractile, darkish dots with a hollow around them. These dots represent the nuclei which have been stained by gentian violet. Do not confuse with dust particles which have varying size and shapes, often angular and they are usually opaque with no halos around them. They are dark brown or yellowish in color. Counting the cells. Count the cells in 4 groups of 16 squares. This is one group of 16 square. This is second group of 16 square. Third and fourth one. So total we are counting cells in 64 squares. Total number of WBCs we have counted in all these 4 squares is equal to n and when we multiply this n with multiplication factor 50 we will get the WBC count.